Hi, let us have a quick overview on the observability and how Grafana is going to complete the entire suite of application along with Kiali and Jaeger. When it comes to observability, we need to have the tracing, metrics and logging. These are all the three pillars of observability within any distributed application. We achieved tracing using the Jaeger and using the Kiali, we are able to get the bigger picture of the applications that got deployed within the Istio as well as within Kubernetes. And within Kubernetes, we do have a dedicated dashboard. We will be seeing about the dedicated dashboard later point of time. And we need to get the metrics on what are all the usage of the CPU processor, what are all the usage of network, CPU, memory and lot other factors when we are using the distributed application and that can be achieved using Grafana and it needs a database to store the metrics data. Internally, it's going to use a database called Prometheus. If I look into the list of services that got deployed along with Istio when I'm using the demo profile, that's going to have a service called Grafana along with Prometheus. Let me list the services available. Let me get all the services from all the namespaces. Within Istio system, I do have a service called Prometheus that is running in the IP address 10.111.89.225 in the port 9090. Along with that, I do have another service called Grafana that is running in the port 3000 and this specific IP address. I can go ahead and open the tunnel or create a gateway. Creating gateway, I will be doing it whenever I wanted to go through that specific Istio gateway and access the application using the DNS and the tunneling directly I can go ahead and do that so that I don't need to create the gateway. Let me go ahead and change the configuration within the tunneling. SSH tunnel and I have added the port 3000 to this specific IP address for Grafana and for Prometheus to the port 9090. As I mentioned, Prometheus is nothing but it's a metrics database where it can collect various metrics and store it for any analysis using any visualization tool. It can store the dimensional data and it can make powerful queries. It's going to be very efficient in terms of storage as well as querying. I can set internal alerts as well. The same way Grafana is going to provide a beautiful UI. It can read data from multiple data sources. Prometheus is one popular one where it can read the metrics data and provide that as a visual graph. I can access the Grafana in the port 3000 and it, it has an entity called dashboard where I will be in a position to generate my own graph. Let me access the port 3000 and the dashboard. It's going to provide me the list of dashboards. So if I access the port 3000, it's going to have list of pre-built dashboards which will be having predefined graphs. Basically, it's going to read the data from the Prometheus database. Let me go ahead and make some request to that specific application that is sample application so that n number of metrics would get logged. Let me make a request using CURL and the for loop. I'm going to make four requests over here. Let me make few more requests. Now let me access the Grafana dashboard. Let me check the service dashboard. You can see the request is getting increased in terms of server request volume, server success rate. I can get into the dashboard and create my own dashboard. That particular detail, we will be seeing it later. We will try to reuse the dashboard which are already available. Let me get into the home page and these are all the list of dashboards available. Let me get into the mesh dashboard. Here it's going to provide some information on what are all the services and their workloads. Let me go ahead and access that particular page once again. This time I'm going to make 50 requests so that it should create significant amount of load and it's going to refresh every five seconds. So here I do have with this TO. So these are all the changes that's happening. So now watch the request and the success rate we can check. Let me access some other dashboard, say performance dashboard. We can monitor the CPU utilization, memory usage. So all such information, I should be in a position to 
measure and this is coming from the prometheus database and prometheus is getting exposed in the port 9090 let me go ahead and access the port 9090 i am demonstrating different ways of accessing the tools either through the tunnel or directly using it through the gateway so that you will get familiar on the different concepts and the ways how we can access these tools here i should be in a position to get various services what are all the metrics that are coming in these are all the different metrics that are getting into this particular database you can check the metrics for jaeger and different pods of kubernetes and prometheus so all such metrics it will be coming from the cluster and it will get stored within this specific database so prometheus is nothing but it's a simple metrics database it's going to collect all the metrics that are coming from the sto and store it within itself and grafana it's going to provide us the visualization how the system as well as the components available within the system is performing that should give us a better insight on how the components are performing and what area needs to be tuned so along with the tools like kali ego prometheus grafana we should be in a position to identify how the system is behaving and what are all the pain points that needs to be addressed i will be having a quick overview on all these four applications and we will be using this four tools very significantly to understand various features available within sto so this is the foundation that we are making and we are going to set up a sample application and use this four tools and from this particular point we are going to start our demo and learning of sto so in a quick summary we learned about what is prometheus grafana and how to access the grafana ui and what are all the insights it's going to provide and what is prometheus and what type of metrics information it is going to store and how it is going to provide the metrics information to the grafana